Hey guys, how's it going? So, the beer reviews are coming back. I haven't done them for a while, and um, I'm not sure why. I've just been kind of focused on other things. Um, but I've just made a trip to Chicago, um, the promised land of craft beer. Um, and I brought back a huge haul of beer with me, so I just wanted to show you guys what's in store for future beer reviews, starting right now. To begin, I picked up some Bell's Two-Hearted Ale, um, which is supposedly a phenomenal IPA. Moving on down, this is from Revo uh, Revolution Brewing, and it came in this box, and supposedly it was only brewed one time, and it's a very special thing. It's called Very Mad Cow Milk Stout, um, and it is a limited edition deep wood series. Um, so I'm not sure if that means it's oaked, or perhaps it has been um, aged or brewed into um, bourbon barrels or not, but there it is. Here we have Stone Brewery's Suede Imperial Porter, and this is a collaboration beer they've done with um, Tin Barrel Brewery, Stone, and Blue Jacket, so that should be um, quite tasty. Moving right along here we have Founders Curmudgeon, which is a no hop, all malt, and molasses beer. Um, here we have Brooklyn Brewery's Black Chocolate Stout, and I've heard this is absolutely delicious. Moving right along, we have Sierra Nevada's 2014 release of Bigfoot Ale Barley Wine Style. Um, that's one of Sierra Nevada's most sought after brews from what I've seen. Here we have Left Hand Brewery's Wake Up Dead Russian Imperial Stout Nitro. This should be an absolute treat. Moving on, we have um, Lexington Brewery's Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale. Um, here, and this is amazing. The 2014 release of Stone's Imperial Russian Stout. This supposedly sets the bar for um, Imperial Russian Stouts. Here we have New Holland's Dragon's Milk Bourbon Barrel Stout. That I've heard amazing things about and is supposed to be quite delicious. And now we're going to move up here to the big bottles. Well, <laughs> here is something absolutely legendary. Probably pronouncing this wrong, but this is Trappistes Rochfort um, Belgian Ale. This little bottle right here was almost twelve dollars, and it's the number ten, so it's I guess been aged the longest and brewed the heaviest. It's eleven point three percent, and um, I've heard just like legendary remarks about this beer, so I can't wait to try it. Here we have two from Hop and Frog Brewery. We have Boris the Crusher Oatmeal Imperial Stout from Grand Teton or Grand Teton Brewery. We have their Wake Up Call Imperial Porter or Imperial Coffee Porter. Um, and this is a 2011 Cellar Reserve, so this should be a real treat. Um, here we have Oma Gang Brewery's um, Game of Thrones Special Edition um, Fire and Blood Red Ale. That should be quite the treat. Once again with Oma Gang, we have their Abbey Ale. We have the limited edition Cup O Kindness um, Traditional Belgian Styled Scotch Ale. Um, here once again from Oma Gang, we have their Art of Darkness. And let's wrap up with Oma Gang's Seduction, a tart cherry chocolate um, stout. So there we are, quite the haul of craft beer as you can see. And it should be a lot of interesting reviews to come. Hope you guys enjoyed it.